Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Zendesk account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a customer ticket in your Zendesk? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you need to create a ticket in your Zendesk anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business or even a brick and mortar business, you know that it's important to track customer issues. And with Zendesk, you can easily create tickets and assign them. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Zendesk account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I already logged into my Zendesk admin center. This is the home screen. Now, in order to create a Zendesk ticket, it's going to be in the support section. So in order to get to the support section, you want to click right here on these four little squares. Once you do that, go ahead and click on support. Okay, once you click there, you will be in the Zendesk support center. And in order to create a customer ticket, what you're going to do is here on the left, you want to click on these two little people. Okay, once you do that, you're going to have a list of your customers or end users as they're called in Zendesk. And you simply just want to scroll through until you find the customer that you like to create a ticket for. Now, if your customer isn't there for some reason, you can go ahead and click on this blue button and add a customer into your Zendesk. Once you click there, you're just going to need to enter in their name and their email. I'm not going to do that for this video. I'm going to go ahead and choose an existing customer. So I'll choose this one right here. Okay. Once you click in there, you're going to see that customer's tickets that are open or existing. And in order to create a new ticket for them, you're going to go ahead and look up here towards the top, right? There's a button called new ticket. Okay guys. So here is where you can go ahead and create a customer ticket. So first off, this is going to be the customer's name. And first you want to go ahead and assign it. So just click right here and then click into a support. And now you can go ahead and assign it to one of your support reps. Okay. And if you have somebody overseeing this ticket, you can go ahead and add them in here and just search for the agent who's going to be overseeing this ticket here. You can go ahead and add tags. So that way you can go ahead and filter out your tickets in a future date. So for example, you can go ahead and add this as a Chinese food tag, and that would be separate than other tags for Mexican food. So that way, when you're searching through your tickets, you can easily scan through them and get right to the types of tickets you're looking for. And here you can go ahead and change the priority. So we'll do this one as an urgent. And here you can go ahead and choose the type of customer ticket we're selecting. Since this is going to be urgent, I'll go ahead and put this as a problem. Here you can go ahead and change the topic. So what is this for? Is this for delivery? Is this something to do with their order? Is it something to do with their account? Okay. Now you want to go ahead and add a subject for this ticket. So maybe order not received three days late. All right. Okay. So next you want to go ahead and add a description to this ticket customer called and did not receive order wants a refund or shipping. Okay. So once you've all filled that out, go ahead and click on submit as new down here on the bottom, right? Okay. So now the ticket has been issued. And if we go back to the customer by clicking right here on their name. Okay. So now we can go ahead and see their ticket status. You can see we created a new customer ticket right here. It does have a ticket ID and then also it has the subject, which we typed in. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to create a new customer ticket in your Zendesk, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.